hello students today we will learn about another problem of development it is related to solid cone now let us read the problem a cone of dia 40 mm and height 40 mm is resting on its base develop its lateral surface remember one thing whenever you have to solve a problem of development for cone or pyramid then you have to apply radial line method now as we know whenever we have to solve any problem of development the first step is that we should draw the front and top of the given solid in this case cone is given it is resting on its base so when you will look at a cone in this particular position from front you will see a triangle and from top you will see a circle so let us first draw its top view which will be a circle so i have already drawn a circle whose diameter is 40 millimeters okay so what is the next step after drawing the top view of the cone you have to draw its uh, oriental diameter draw a continuous thin line and draw its vertical diameter continuous thin line then like cylinder uh, we have to divide this particular uh, circle into eight equal parts the same step we did in uh, development of a cylinder as well so mark 45 degree on both sides then uh, join these two points to draw continuous thin line and join these two points to draw another continuous thin line so in this manner you will be able to draw circle into eight equal parts so we will call these points as generators so let us start from this point in clockwise direction we will name these generators generator 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 let us call its uh, apex as O now draw a uh, xy line now take projections from uh, the diametric ends of this circle that is from 1 and from 5 now what we will do we will uh, draw the front view of the cone draw the base of the front view with a continuous thin line a continuous thick line which will be in between these two projectors now in order to complete the triangle uh, align your scale with this uh, particular uh, diameter of the circle vertical diameter and uh, draw a center line here by using chain thin line then we are given height of the cone as 40 millimeters so cut this uh, height to cut this center to 45 40 millimeters and then join these two points to get the first slant edge of the cone then join these two points to get the second slant edge of the cone now from these generators take projections align your scale with the generator 2 and 8 and you will find your scale is in vertical position and take one projector up to the base of the cone do the similar step from generator 4 and 6 take the projector to the base of the cone then uh, we have to name these points we have labeled uh, these points at the bottom of the cone so let us call that these particular points are at the um, base of the cone we have named outside the circle so let us consider that these are at the base of the cone so this is 1 dash this is 8 dash 2 dash in bracket why 2 dash is in bracket because we are looking from this side so 8 is visible first to us 2 is behind 8 so similarly 7 dash in bracket 3 dash and 6 dash in bracket 4 dash and the last one is 5 dash so this will be apex O dash now we have to draw these generators O4, O2, O8, O6 so how to, join, uh, how to draw these generators join this particular point to apex with the continuous thin line this is the generator join this point to the apex with the continuous thin line this is another generator now these generators are imaginary lines so we have to keep continuous thin inside the front view now after this we have to do one calculation that calculation will be for the angle theta theta will be r by l into 360 so remember this particular formula where r is the diameter of the cone which is 40 millimeters sorry r is the radius of the cone so diameter is given as 40 so r will be 20 millimeters so l you have to measure from the front view what is l l is the slant height that is o dash 5 dash so with the help of scale measure this slant height and this is equal to 45 millimeters so put value in millimeters over here 45 into 360 so you will get the value of theta as 160 degrees now what we need to do we have to copy this slant height o dash 5 dash somewhere over here so what is the procedure 
Line your scale with the base of the cone. Extend its base with continuous thin line. Align your scale to the apex in horizontal position and draw continuous thin line. Then from 5 dash measure some distance. Let us say 20 millimeters. So from 5 dash 20 millimeters are measured on this line. Mark a point. Whatever distance you took at the bottom, same distance you should take from O dash. So from O dash, take 20 millimeters again on this particular line. Then erase the extra lines and join these two points marked by us with a thick line. Now you can see that this particular line is the copy of O dash 5 dash. This line is parallel to O dash 5 dash and it is of same length. So how we have copied, we have extended the base with a continuous thin line, we have drawn another thin line from uh, its apex, then we measured 20 millimeters from 5 dash, measure same distance from O dash, then join those two points. Now call this as A dash 5 dash. Now use your protector, put your protector at O dash and uh, align your protector with this particular slant height. Now you have to measure angle 160 degree which we have calculated. So from here 160 degree it will be over here. Then uh, draw a thin line from this particular point after lining your scale with the, the point marked at 160 degree. Draw thin line of any length at the start. Then open your compass equal to the slant height. And place your compass at uh, this apex O dash and compass is open to this slant height O dash 5 dash and draw a thick arc now after this erase the extra line and make this part of the development thick now we have used 8 generators, we have divided circle into 8 parts, so we have to divide this development also into 8 parts. So what is the method? Right now we have angle of 160 degrees, so 160 divided by 8, so angle of one part will be 120 de uh, 20 degree only. So place your compass at this particular point again, so mark those angles, so that will be 20 degree, then 20 plus 20, 40, then it will be 60, 80, then 100, then 120 then 140 then 160 now what we will do we will uh, join these points to apex with very thin lines continuous thin lines why we are drawing these lines thin because these are uh, generators so keep it thin continuous thin lines generators are imaginary lines so that's why we are keeping it thin. So remember all the parts should be of should be same. Now this is a generator 5 dash. So after 5 uh, on the top view in clockwise next we have 6, 7, 8, 1. So label it as 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 5. Now we are ready with our answer. This is the final development and remember these two slant edges and this curve must be thick and these generators which are inside the development should be thin. Now we have to place the dimensions. So in dimensions we have to first place uh, the height of the cone. Height of the cone is uh, given in the question as 40 millimeters. So let us label this height as 40 millimeters, millimeters here. Then we are given the diameter of the cone as 40 millimeters. So I don't have space at the bottom to show. Uh, so let me show diameter towards this side. So that it should be visible to you in the video. So this is 40 millimeters. Then we should place this angle also. Angle is given as 160 degree. Not given. It is calculated by us. Sorry. So place that angle over here. 160 degree. So I hope the procedure of drawing uh, the development of cone is clear to you. So in the next video I will uh, use the same answer to solve a problem based on truncated cone. Thank you very much.